Hello everyone, this is BCS Buster, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VIII Remastered. Well, last time we made our way to Balam Town and met the Queen of Cards after doing a little bit of grinding, and we got uh, some very important abilities that are going to help us power up our characters in a very special way. And we're going to really take advantage of that today, uh, as we do a lot of triple triad playing. And now I'm not going to show you all of it, of course, uh, but I'll show you some of the highlights. So... First thing that I want to do is I want to go here and just in my random uh, off screen of playing and uh, with the all rule in effect as I was trying to get the, the Quistus card and the Minimog card, I managed to get a bunch of other cards too. So what I want to do now is with my ability, and last time I learned card mod as well, so you can refine items from cards. This is really good. Now each of the card levels are actually set up by the, your, your level of card, which can be helpful if you're trying to grind. So one of the first things that I want to do is I want to take a Gesper card, and I want to refine it into a black hole. So let's do one of those. And now I've got one of that. And what that does, what the black hole does, it can learn, it can teach Quistus the degenerator, uh, degenerator uh, blue magic spell. And what that does is that removes all enemies that are not immune to it from the beginning of the game, which, or from here to the end of the game, which is great. It's kind of like um, bounce or something like that, or expel from Dragon Quest. You won't get any experience, but it knocks everyone out. So let's do that. And Quist just learned Degenerator! Yeah, with a lot of things. So, And there's a few that we can get. So, let's, uh, so that's what I'm going to be doing here. So let's get a few of these here. Okay, do I have a Gala card? Yes, I do. Oops. Let's use the ability. Let's go to card mod. And let's see. So, Gala, I want one of those for Mystery Fluid. Yep. And a Caterpillar. Pillar. Do I have one of those? Yes, I do. With a spider web. Very good. Okay, level two. Creeps. Do I have one of those? Yes, I do. Let's get a Creeps card. Give me a Coral Fragment. And I think that's all I can do there right now. So let's head over to level three. Yeah, we got some good ones here. So Curse Spike to get level question mark death. That's a good one. Let's get one of those. Uh, the Samoy G card with Running Fire. That's a really good one. And get that one. And uh, fast, fast, Fastitosalon, I think I'm saying that correctly. Yeah, let's get that one there. Great. Okay, so now let's start with these because then it's going to start to get a little bit trickier after this. So let's go with our items here. Let's get all of this taught to Quistus. She can learn Acid, which is okay. Spiderweb, which is teaches her Ultra Waves, which is, isn't really that useful, but it's okay. Um, Electrocute, which can be useful. Level question mark Death, which... Uh, it can be useful in certain instances. Let's give her that. Uh, let's see. Running Fire, so you can learn Gatling Gun. And Water Crystal, learn Aqua Breath. Aqua Breath is a really good one. So we like that one there. Okay. Now, uh, let's see. So she should have... Uh, so she should have a bunch of stuff. I'll have to just double check that when I get her back. So, okay. Now here's where it starts to get a little bit tricky. Because the next thing that I want to do is I need to mod some level 5 cards, but multiples of them. These are level 4 cards. For level 5 cards, we need... Hey, yeah, hold on. Oh, I guess, I guess it doesn't have it all there. Okay, that's fine. Um, I do need Marlboro, so I need 4 of those. And I need 10 Ruby Dragons and 10 Behemoths, which are all level 5 cards. They can be a little bit more difficult to get. So let's go ahead and save. And then I'm going to show you where we're going to start getting level 5 cards. Uh, and I can save over... This one's fine. Okay. Now the best place to get level 5... Or a good, a good place to get level 5... Is um, Trip Groupie 1. And I believe that person's in the cafeteria. So let's go see if I can find her. Let me just double check that here. Hang on.
Okay, just checking some notes here. Okay, I think cafeteria is the way to go. So let's head over there. I tried this last time and wasn't as successful. So let's see if I can... There we go. Okay. All right, talk to these folks. That guy in front of me. Okay. They're not very helpful. Uh-huh. Okay, so that's not too super helpful. What about the guy in the back? Ah, there's trippy groupie number one. So that's good. Let's, let's talk to the guy in the back. And they have a little crush on Quistus there. Okay. And let's guy in the back. And let's challenge some cards. All right. Let's go. Now, we're going to have to up our game here a little bit. Now, we have Quistus, which will help. We're still going to have to up our game here just a little bit. All right. Let's go. Yeah, we can start to get some really good cards from this person here. Okay. Okay, let's see what we got here. Mm, this isn't great. Hmm. Yeah, this is probably the most addictive minigame um, out there, for sure. Take it with that one. This, it might, this actually might be okay. Let's see. probably take it, which is fine. Uh, let's go... Go like this. Okay, all you have to do is win by one, and you're okay. Ah, this should be okay. As long as he doesn't place it there. Good. That'll work. Nice. Very good. Yeah, what I'm trying to get is I'm trying to get some, um, and I might not get all of these. We'll see. I want to try to get some more Marlboro cards and some Ruby Dragon cards if I can get them. Ruby Dragon is good because that gets you a good one there. A uh, Behemoth is actually going to end up being helpful too. But yeah, Ruby Fang, Ruby Dragons are, are really, really helpful there. Sure, no problem. So. Yeah, so I'll just keep doing this for a little while. Until I get the cards that I want. Yeah, I got some good ones here. Okay, cool. All right, I'll, play, I'll finish playing some Triple Triad and I'll uh, get the cards that I want. Got some cards going. Oh, trade will just one? Oh, shoot. And I do want the Ruby Dragon. Dang. Okay. Uh, all right, let me check my cards here. Um, I guess I should show this. I'll show this uh, real quick. So, so you can see that the different level of cards are actually sorted out. Um, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and yes. Is that like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten? So there's 11 cards um, per level. So this is level one, level two, level three, level four, which I don't have any level four cards, which is interesting. But I'll be getting some in a little bit for sure. Uh, and then level five cards. So like Ruby Dragon is a level five card. Oh, do I have four of those? Oh, I need 10 of those. But yeah, Marlboro is a level two card, a level five card. And I want to get a few of those for sure. So like level six, level seven. So these are level 8 GF cards, and then Quistus is a level 10 player card. So these are all the different levels of cards that you can get. Um, level 5 uh, is... Uh, these kinds... Uh, level 5 is... Uh, apparently level 5 card, Trippy Groupie 1 is the best. So that's uh, a good one to do that. So Okay, I'm going to keep playing some Triple Triad so you can see how that works. Or, and so I can see the gaining of some cards here. Okay, so uh, I realize I've been playing this guy, and right now he's got the trade rule set as one. And I don't really like that, so I want to see if I can get the all trade rule back, because that's the all trade rule is really helpful. Uh, do you... Yeah, okay, With the caf this cafeteria lady plays. plays. Let's see if I can get the all rule back. No, it's still rule one. So if that happens... What you can do is go back to the Queen of Cards until she goes all again. And then that should reset the rule, I think. 
Oh, there it goes. Oh, that works too. So you can just keep doing it until it all comes back. So it's just kind of random. All right, let's see how we do against this person here. That's some good cards here. And taking this time. Ooh, I don't like that seven against Quistus. I don't like that. Let's do that. Keep Quistus safe. That's fine because I can throw a Mog there. That should be a victory. Uh, he can't do four. He can do six. Yep. That's a victory. There you go. All right. Awesome. There we got all the cards back. So that can happen occasionally. Ooh, Wendigo. That's a new one. And Turtopod. Yeah, so you can win a ton of cards. Oh, they're both level four cards. Okay, nice. Uh, okay, so I'm going to keep doing this for a while and then just keep playing. Um, so the trip groupies, Kate Keeper, Cafeteria Lady, male student in blue in library, and the girl in the library reading area all play level five cards. Um, apparently, groupie number one is the best for level five cards, which I need right now. So, anyways, okay, I'll keep working on this, and I'll be back uh, once some exciting things happen. There we go. There's the one I need. All right, I'll show this game, because this is the tenth and final behemoth card I'm getting, and then that should put me where I need to with, well, not completely, but close enough for what I want to do if I can... Uh, get the win here. Uh, let's do it this way. Because they can try to flip me, and that's fine. Ooh. Be close. Okay. Whew. She, he did the way I wanted to. Nice. Okay, very good. Okay, very good. Awesome. So I decided to play some games against the Trip Groupies. Um, in this room. Now that should have given me my 10th behemoth card. Yeah, okay. So now I've got all, uh, everything that I want to do. So now I'm going to go make a safety save real quick. And then just make sure that, oh, I'll stop it. That I've done everything that I want to. Okay. I'm going to just save here. And this is after a complete playing of Triple Triad, so that's awesome. Okay, very good. So now what I want to do is I want to start using my card mod uh, even more to get some of the things that I've uh, that I've been grinding for. But this whole process took me about an hour and a half um, of playing Triple Triad to get everything that I needed. It might take you more, it might take you less. Um, I'm not really sure. But... One of the things that I got was, uh, where are those? The Marlboro cards. And four of them will refine into a Marlboro tentacle. So let's do that. Um, also, I somehow managed to get a ton of Ruby Dragon cards. And ten of them will refine into an Infernal Fang. So let's do that. And then ten Behemoths will refine into one Barrier. So let's go ahead and do that as well. Awesome. And now what I want to do is I want to take some of those and Quistus can start to learn some incredible blue magic spells. So let's give her bad breath, fire breath, and mighty guard. Yeah, now she's, I believe, got everything that I can give her at this point. So I wish I could, let's see, once I get her back, uh, spoiler alert, you're going to get her back. So we should be good to go there. So that's really good. But yeah, she's got a ton of excellent blue magic that's going to be really helpful. So I'm very excited about that. Okay. Now, next thing I want to do is I want to... And you don't have to do this, but it's it's it can be really helpful to power up your characters even more further than possible. So what I want to do is now I want to refine some of these Abyss Worm cards. Oops. Let's ability those. Card mod. And I want to get uh, five of those... Sorry. One will refine into one windmill. So what I want to do is I want to get five of these. Let's do that. 
Um, if you want to get an Inferno Fang, that can be really helpful. If you can get more, another, in if you want to keep grinding and get those, it's fine, because you can learn Flare, which is incredibly powerful. But I'm not going about that. Snow Lion, let's get five of those. Oops. To get five North Winds. Do I have Blitz? I thought I got some Blitzes, yeah. i get some Dynamo Stones with them. And we should be good to go with that. All right, very good. Uh, now, let's see if I can... Do I have some Thrustavius cards? Yeah, I can get five of these because this is actually a good one too. Um, this can actually be pretty helpful if you want to do some level two grinding. Well, uh, do I even want to do that? Let's see. Trying to decide. Um, let's before I do that. Let's see what else I have. Um, do I get some glacial eyes? Hold on. Just looking to see if I got glacial eyes. I don't know if I did. Oh, I got a few. Yeah, some Arctic winds that can get you Blizzara, which is okay. Um, creeps cards. I got a few of those. those. That can also get you Thundara. So, um, yeah, I've got enough. So let's get five of those. And creeps, let's get five of those. Good. Um, with the bomb card, I only got one, so we'll get into a bomb fragment. Don't care about that. Uh, did I get Thrustavius? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, great. Now! What I want to do with these is, now that I have that, let's take our Thunder Magic. Now, if I take those Windmills, I can refine this to Squall, and I want to give him 100 Tornadoes. Because that is, um, if you junction that to his, uh, if you junction that, it's good, you're going to become ridiculously powerful. So, let's get those. Uh, with the Dynamo Stones, you can get some Thundagas, which can be really helpful. Uh, let's give those to... Actually, I'm going to hold off... Well, um... Hmm. I'm going to hold off on the... Well, let's give these to... Actually, I'm going to wait on those, because I'm not quite sure how I'm going to junction everything just yet. Um, but I'll show you what else you can do. With the Ice Magic... Actually, oh, I can do this. Let's get a, Let's give him 100 Waters and 100 waters with these fish fins, which you can do. So this is why I wanted to learn all that refined magic. Um, with these north winds, I can refine into blizzagas, which I'll do. Uh, with the thunder magic, um, you can get arrows and thundaras, which would be good. Once I get my crew back up, I'll figure out. I'm not exactly sure where I want to junction everything just yet. But um, that's going to be really, really, really good. Okay, very good. All right, very good. So the Arctic, uh, let's see. I don't think I actually can do anything with the fire for right now, yeah. But that's okay. So I'm gonna uh, junction some of those a little bit later once I've got all my junctions and how I want them to be. Now watch this. Let's junction Squall. And let's junction Magic. Now watch this. <laughs> yeah, his strength becomes 81 pretty much right out of the gate. It's just ridiculous. How powerful, yeah. Tornado is just so ridiculously powerful. Um, so if you want to even grind for some um, for some more Abyss Worms, you can. Um, certainly don't have to, but... Okay, let's, let's junction auto to mag to attack. Yeah, so that at least gets him water there. Um, if you want to... You can actually... It's so like you can get the fire. If I wanted to get Thundaga, I could. Um, for that. I don't have any defense, so... But yeah, Squall is is pretty much undefeatable at this point. So, that's pretty good. Okay. Now what I want to do is... Let's see. How many Elastoid cards do I have? Yeah, those are good. El Noyles, you actually want to do... If you can grind for those. If you can grind for 20 of those, that actually makes life a little bit easier. 
if you want to do that. If you can find some Elm Oil um, cards. You want to try and get 20 of those and mod them into energy crystals, which can be really helpful. Um, okay. One other thing I'll do, since I have some cards kicking around, is let's card mod. Where are those Elastoid cards? Yeah, steel pipes are good. So I want to get three of these. And now what I can do with those is they can teach this Summon Magic plus 10 ability. So it's not super helpful, but it'll, sa but it'll save a little time down the road. And I have, and I have extra kickins around, so I might as well do those. Okay, awesome. Very, 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 very good. Um, okay. I think that's all I can do for right now with that. So, but yeah, my characters are just stupid powerful now. And I may do a little bit more once I get Quistus back. I am not quite sure yet. Okay. So now what I want to do is just wrap up my business here. I'm just looking at my thing. Okay, let's see. Okay, I'm just looking at my thing here. Okay, so let's go ahead and head to the cafeteria. Just make sure that I got this. Okay. Yes. Uh-huh. Oh, he hasn't passed your written test yet. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> hey, don't ever... Is study hall is fine. Study hall is fine. You're starting to get better. Sad. Kind of like a CD. Okay. Well, then do something about it. Go take the world by storm. <laughs> Can I talk to them? Yeah, basically just want to get that there. Uh, let me just make sure that I got that right there. Okay. Now let's talk to the guy in front of me. Fine. Oh yeah, and you love Questus. Right. Okay. And so once once you get that, then we can go ahead and get out of here. Okay, so I want to give a talk to the cafeteria lady. Okay, and it's this one you want to talk to to give until she starts giving some Uh-huh. Oh good. Now, and you want to go ahead and lend an ear. Uh huh. I do know what you mean. Oh, really? What's wrong with him? I'll lend an ear. Yeah, you, and you want to keep doing this over and over again until you get the same dialogue from her. Uh huh. That's awesome. Oh, how so? Good. Must, is that one of those things he's gone into the military, I guess? No, you're fine. Uh-huh. Well, what are you saying there? Uh-huh. Okay, I think this is it. I think that's... Oh, you're fine. Uh-huh. Okay. All right. Good. Okay. I think that, that 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 I think that will accomplish the side quest a little bit later on. Okay. So now let's go speed past this. And now I want to head to the library. Let's head there. 
Okay, I want to talk to some folks here. Oh, no! True. Well, I mean, it, it, if you have a lot of knowledge, you won't have a need for a disciplinary committee. <laughs> All right. Uh, I think so. I see. Great. Okay. I'm looking for one particular person. Oh, I see. Oh, nice, good stretch. I like it. Ah, well, maybe if you study more the next time, it won't be a problem. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, right. Yeah, I forgot about that. True. Okay. I'm looking for a conceited CD, but sometimes he doesn't show up. But I guess he's not here, so we should be good to go. Oh, I see. Well, that's not good. Okay, how many cards do I have? Yeah, that abyss worm. I wish I could get some more... Um, some more of those, but... Okay! I believe I've got everything that I, that I need for now. Um, I may do a little bit more grinding, get some more abyss worms. But if I do, I'll take care of that off screen, but... Now my characters are starting to get super powerful. I've done all the triple triad that I want. Uh, almost all the triple triad that I want. And we are rocking and rolling. And things are doing really, really, really well. And uh, Next time we'll definitely advance the plot. If I decide to do a little bit more, I'll pick up some more uh, Abyss Worm cards to get another round of Tornadoes, as well as potentially some more um, Elmoral cards. And I may do that uh, off screen. I'm not quite sure yet. We'll see. But now things are ready to rock and roll. But are we now ready for the... CD exam to perhaps become a mercenary? You have to wait till next time to find out. So then this is BCS Buster signing off. Don't forget to like me on Facebook. Follow me on Twitter, BCS Buster LP. Follow me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash BCS Buster. Check out all the ways you can support the channel in the video description below. Not only using those promo codes help save you money, but they help me grow the channel as well. And until the next time we meet, take care, y'all. Things are looking up.